Today I'm going to show you how to repair a damaged curb. Keep watching our video, I'll show you just how I do that. Hey what's up guys, it's Jeff Lepard from DoItAllSealing.com. Just want to thank you for stopping by, watching this video. Today we're going to be repairing a concrete curb. And the first thing to do is the uh, the curb's actually marked out by the client. So you can see there's a bit of concrete that's um, uh, broken up there. We're gonna be repairing that. So what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be using a product called Sika 123. And that's this right here. This stuff is really good. It's actually used on road repair, bridge repair, so it's actually stronger than the concrete that comes off of the truck. You have a component A and a component B. So once you mix that together, you then work with it, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first step, we're just gonna go ahead and remove the broken concrete debris on the curb, just to get that out of the way. Okay, so the first step, we have a bucket of water. So what we wanna do, we just wanna pre-soak the area where we're going to be working. So we're gonna do this entire area. So first thing we're gonna do is just take a handful of this Sika, just a little bit, not too much. We're just gonna put that in the bucket of water and we're just gonna mix that around. It almost gives it a little bit of a a little bit of a bonding agent that the Sika is going to stick to. We just take our sponge, just a little bit damp, and we're just going to go ahead and wet this area where we're working. Okay, so next, we're going to start mixing the Sika. And to do this, you take the part A in the jug, you give it a good shake, and you pour some of that into a bucket. Depending on the amount that you want to work with, how much repair, that's what uh, it's gonna decide how much you're gonna pour in. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in here. Okay, so we're gonna just take our drill, and we've already poured part A into the bucket. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to start mixing as we start adding handfuls of component B, which is the powdered Sika. And what you wanna do is you just wanna keep mixing it until it gets almost like cookie dough to the point where it's resisting the mixing and the bucket actually starts spinning a little bit. But uh, it's up to you whether you want it a little more wet uh, of a mix or a little bit more dry of a mix. Getting close to where I want it. Just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so next, the two tools I have, I just have a uh, magnesium float and just a, uh, you know, a spatula that I'm gonna use to apply the Sika to the curb. So, just gonna get a bit on there. I'm just gonna work that in. I'm not, too concerned about the shape of it. I just want to get it on there right now for the time being. 
and then I'll uh, I'll give its form just after. Okay, so now that we've applied the Sika to the curb with the spatula, we're just going to use this magnesium float to smooth out the Sika contouring to the curb. Before we do that, you just want to make sure it's a little bit wet. And you're just going to work it around to smooth it out gradually. doesn't have to be perfect because I'll show you how I do the final finish at the end. Okay, so to finally uh, finish this curb, I'm going to use a sponge. I'm going to give it a sponge finish. So we're just going to wet the sponge, uh, not too wet, a little more than damp, and you're just going to go into a circle motion past the curb where you repaired and just circle the entire curb and then you'll actually smooth out the finish and also the color change won't be as noticeable. after it gets uh, too saturated. Now on the bag, it says that you can work the Sika 30 minutes to 60 minutes, but actually depends on the weather. Right now we're in 35 degrees Celsius weather. It's really hot out. So this has almost uh, only been about 12 minutes. So any longer, and I won't be able to work the Sika. Rinse it again. Okay guys, that's it. This curve's now complete. We just finished spun finishing it. That's it, it just has to dry. So I just want to thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit that bell, turn notifications on, like our video, share our video, and we'll definitely see you next time from doitallceiling.com. Take care guys, bye-bye.